On May 17th of 2009, Usain Bolt set the 150 meter world record at 14.35 seconds. This race was very special as he was storming through the roads of Manchester, and with a time of 14.35, he took down his competition, well, you can see, it was by a pretty big margin. With a legal wind of positive 1.1 meters per second behind him, Bolt only continued his legendary run as the greatest sprinter of all time on this day. However, there's actually more context to this race than meets the eye, because just 18 days before this meet, he got into a car crash where there was no real issues that would keep him from running, but he did scratch his feet and legs a little bit. So it is pretty impressive that less than three weeks later, he came back and set a world record that still stands. Now, as many of you remember, 2009 was Usain Bolt's best year, as he went on to break the 100 world record, the 200 world record, and Team Jamaica also set the 4x100 meter world record in the world championships. But adding to his resume that season was this 14.35. Unlike anyone else around the world, Bolt's abilities to continue sprinting at top speed is just completely unmatched, and a 150 meter race might actually be his ideal distance where he could be unbeatable. And while this time has stood strong for now over 13 years, we have a very exciting 150 meter race coming up this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia. For this 150 meter showdown, we have none other than Noah Lyles competing against Ferdinand Amanyala. Now, currently on the all-time list of 150 meter times, Lyles comes in at number four all-time, only behind Tyson Gay and Walter Dix, with a time of 14.69. Now, Noah Lyles ran this time back on June 16th of 2019, and he ran this time on the streets of Boston. However, the track on the day was pretty wet, as you can see. So this 14.69 potentially could have been a little bit quicker, and he also ran this into a negative headwind of negative 0.2 meters per second. Now, just like Bolt's 14.35, the context of this race is actually quite interesting because just a few weeks before Noah Lyles ran this 150, he competed in the 200 meters for his season opener in 2019, where he ran a time of 19.72, but he actually placed second to Michael Norman in 19.70, which to this day is still one of my all-time favorite 200 meter races that took place in Rome, Italy. After this 19.72 and this 14.69, Noah Lyles used these two competitions as a huge springboard, because for his very next race in Lausanne, Switzerland, Lyles threw down a huge time of 19.50, crushing the field on this day, and at the time this was the fourth fastest time ever run in the 200 meters. And again, he ran this into a slightly negative headwind of negative 0.1 meters per second. Clearly, Noel Lyles was in pretty solid shape back in 2019 on this day, and this time has still stood as a top five mark for many years. However, the possibilities of Noah Lyles this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia is pretty huge because recently he has showcased some of the most impressive and most consistent sprinting strength that I have ever seen. If you'll remember back in 2022, he was literally unbeatable in the 200 meters. Literally, he did not lose once. And if we take a look at his entire season, he never ran slower than 20 seconds, running under the 20.00 second barrier for every single competition. And then of course we have to mention his absolutely insane world championship gold medal where he stormed away to win in a new american record time of 19.31 lyles really does know how to put together an entire season of racing and the last time we saw him run a 150 meter race he performed quite well so something tells me that he has the ability to run not just much faster than 14.69 but perhaps jump up on this all-time list, perhaps challenging Usain Bolt if he puts together the perfect race. However, I do think he will be nearly untouchable in this 150 meter race. What Lyles does so well is perform with absolute perfect execution for many of his sprinting events. In the 200 meters, he just knows how to close over the final 100. He has incredible sprinting strength. And of course, in last year's world finals, he ran his final 100 in 9.16 seconds which is just a stupid fast close, and it's the second fastest closing 100 of all time, only falling behind Johan Blake from 2011. There's a lot of talk about Noah Lyles right now in this 150, and if he puts together that ideal performance, I think we could see something crazy, and I think he could get close to Bolt's record of 14.35. And with all of this information in mind, I now want to hear from all of you. How fast do you think Noah Lyles will run in this 150, and can he challenge Usain Bolt's world record? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone.
And as always, until next time.